Hey everybody, Casey here uh, from Express Your Artsy Soul on Instagram. I decided I wanted to do a video as, you know, it's been a little bit, so I'm trying to post semi-regularly. And I decided to show you guys my process using some magazine images for the prompt um, routine for day five um, for Junk Journal January with Meg Journals and Get Messy Art. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So I had previously um, gone through some magazines and pulled out some images that just kind of spoke to me. I honestly did not know what I wanted to do for routine, but I really liked the image on the left. Um, I think it was an ad actually of some kind, um, but I really liked it as like, you know, it looks like the sun's um, coming up and um, obviously the sun comes up every morning. Um, so that is a routine and um, I just kind of really liked really liked that image with the fence and the bright light coming uh, from the background. I also found, um, well, as you can see, I'm trimming a little bit here, but um, I found a mug because I have hot tea every single morning, so that is a routine for me. And um, I love books. I don't read, but I love collecting old books. So I found those, um, that image of the pile of books there. And I thought that was so cool. So the lights, I just like the look of the lights. So it really has no, um, no purpose, you know, for routine or anything. But, um, so anyway, I thought about using that tissue paper with the gold, but I was thinking, oh, I need to do gesso first. Well, turns out I never went back to that tissue paper with the gold polka dots anyway. I forgot. So so I um, kind of wanted to do, I don't know, I wanted to just use the magazine images and um, I added some greens at the bottom corners um, that came from, I don't know what it was, from, you know, just a magazine image I pull off. Um, if there's greens, I rip off the corners or wherever the greens are in the pages. And so I added them. I just kind of wanted to create a little bit of a scene. But at the same time, like, you know, have, um, um, you know, my mixed media flair in there. So, you know, I'm very comfortable using my fingers. Um, I really like to use my fingers with gesso and paint. So, um, you'll see me doing that a lot. If you've watched my previous videos, I just feel like I have more control. I like the look of it better than, um, with a brush. So I wanted to add in some green, um, as you can see with the white gesso, I just wanted to soften the edges of each of the um, magazine images because of the torn torn edges. And I added a little bit, um, you know, in some of the magazine images just to kind of like tie the, the white gesso in. So let's see, what am I using here? Here I am using um, clear gesso. I wanted to put that over top of the magazine images and over the book pages in the background so that when I use some kind of wet medium, um, it's going to not soak through um, the paper. I did not want that. So I did use some clear gesso. I'm not sure what I was just doing there, <laughs> um, but um, I was really trying to add to that silo. I don't know if you can see that's a silo in the image. 
but I was really trying to add to that because I did kind of pull it off at a weird spot. But to be honest with you, there was like a woman's head at the other side of that silo. Like the silo went into her curly hair and then her face. So I did not want that in my page. So I kind of had to rip it right down the middle of the silo. And I wanted to try to blend some of that silo into the other page, but I struggled. I was adding some Dina Wakely scribble stick. I was adding some acrylic paint. Here I'm adding some coffee. Like I just really was struggling to get the look that I wanted. So I moved on. Um, I used my Stabilo. Nope, not Stabilo my Dina Wakely scribble stick, the black, um, to just kind of darken around the corners of the pages. Um, I just, I don't know why, I just feel like it looks better, especially like at the bottom, to kind of have the bottom be darker as, you know, we're going up to where it's much brighter except for like where the lights are. <laughs> um, obviously that's a dark spot. And I was trying to think of what I could do to, you know, lighten that a little bit, but I'll figure that out a little bit later. I still was working on that silo. It just was not, <laughs> it was not what I wanted it to be. Um, I didn't like uh, the contrast of that a magazine image at the top left there I mean the top right um, with the lights and so that you can see that I went in with some scribble stick and with some coffee and I went over that a little bit and tried to blend it and soften it a little bit more <clears throat> excuse me Everybody's in bed now, and I thought, well, this is a great opportunity to do a voiceover. Oh, there's my little three-year-old. For part of the time, she was sitting on my lap. So I was doing a little bit of this with a three-year-old snuggling on my lap. And so she waved to y'all. <laughs> she just wanted to be held. It's not easy. Um art journaling with a toddler on your lap, for sure. I've done that actually when she was a bit younger. I, several times, <laughs> I've, I've done my art journaling with her on my lap. Um, it needed something. I felt like it needed something. I wanted to add in some more elements, some more layers, some more, you know, tools, supplies. So I thought, oh, chicken wire. Chicken wire kind of has that whole, like, fence thing going for it. So, um, or going with it, going for it. I don't know. I'm tired, so my brain's not thinking. So I wanted to add in some of that chicken wire stencil with some white gesso. Um, I must have gotten a mark on my little mug there, but oh well. I hope you can't hear my stomach. It's currently making noises. Um, so here I was just kind of lifting it up to look, you know, get a better look of what I wanted to do. I didn't really care for um, the kind of, you know, mahogany wood, cherry wood look of that top right magazine image. I felt like it was too, kind of too much, too bold, but I honestly was not really sure how I could tone it down. So I had like a cutout um, greens from a magazine like previously that I had cut out like maybe, I don't know, a week or so ago and I had it sitting on my desk and so I'm like, hmm, maybe I could have this coming out of the corner, you know, like some branches coming down because obviously those lights were strung outside, you know, nice weather. Um, you know, you have solar lights outside and it's all pretty, which 
we're not having nice weather. Actually, today it was 60, so I'm in Pennsylvania, January, and it was 60. That's pretty nice. It was rainy, but it was 60. So anyway, um, yeah, I like much better um, the look of those branches coming down. It just added like another element and it just brings it more to the surface, like pushes those um, lights and that, you know, that wood wall to the background. Um, here I was just adding a little bit of coffee. It actually does not look like coffee. I'm pretty sure there was some black ink or something on my brush and mixed in with the coffee. So it's not really brown like it's supposed to be, but you know, that's okay. I just wanted to kind of add some shading underneath the mug so that area wasn't so white. So now I'm going back to that silo. I just was not pleased with, you know, how it was. And I really wanted to kind of finish off that silo a little bit, um, that darker side and have it blend into the right page. So I added more um, Dina Wakely scribble sticks. I added some brown acrylic paint and watered it down and then allowed the drips to go over to the right page. I mean, it's not perfect. It's, it might not be exactly what I envisioned, but I'm pretty satisfied. There's not much more that I felt that I could do at the time. I, I probably should not have gone over the silo um, into that dark part of the silo with white gesso because I think that's what threw, threw it off because you can kind of see some of that lighter underneath in the dark part of the silo. Um, there's my iPad since I was using my phone to record this video. I pulled out my iPad um, before I actually started with this spread. I was looking up, you know, uh, routine. What does routine mean to me? Or what do I like as far as routine? What's a verse I could find? And, oh gosh, I forget the verse now. I forget the reference. It might have been in Hebrews. Um, but I looked up the verse that I wanted Um and I only wrote part of it. It says, not neglecting to meet together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another. So um, I just really liked that. Like we're supposed to meet together, you know, as Christians, um, we're supposed to get together and encourage one another and be a sounding board and be, you know, an advice giver and give, you know, biblical advice and biblical wisdom and um, just rubbing shoulders with each other. So I really liked that. And it says about like, you know, as is the habit of some, which a habit, you know, is like routine. So um, even though we're not, you know, it says not neglecting to meet as some do. Um, but so it's kind of opposite, if that makes any sense. Someone's really beeping the horn outside. I apologize for that. Um, but anyway, I, I just liked that part of the verse. Um, there was more to the verse. It's all, it says something about, you know, as the day draws near, you know, when Jesus returns and everything, but I ran out of paper. So, so I just left it that way. Um, I really appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed my process and, um, if you haven't checked out Junk Journal January with Meg Journals, please do, um, you know, go over on Instagram and check out Meg Journals. It's just a wonderful challenge for January and I enjoy it every time. Thanks again for watching.